All righty. Your next comic and coach, he has been touring around the Northwest. You may have seen him perform in Denver, Chicago, Portland, if you were there. <laughs> you may have seen him. Uh, he f he's featuring right here at Liquid Laughs on Labor Day. Ladies and gentlemen, help me in welcoming the very funny KC Hunt. Hi. Welcome hey. to the United States. How's it going? Land of the feet. Oh, my name's Casey right. Hunt, and I have a Granted, beard where my face should be. <laughs> what are you guys thinking about? <laughs> Don't you hate that question? What are you thinking about? Because I hate that question. Like, I hate that question because I feel like it forces me to lie a lot of the time. And I don't like lying. It's just like, I think, I think as thinking people with brains, we sometimes get some thoughts that float through, you know, that you don't necessarily want to say out loud, because then you're going to forever be remembered as that guy that sits around daydreaming about what dog meat tastes like, <laughs> you know? It's like, I'm not going to eat a dog. I, like, I, I know there are cultures out there that eat dogs, and I respect that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm not going to do it. I just wonder how it's done sometimes, you know? <laughs> I guess what I'm really trying to say, guys, is that I'm not gay. But the only reason I know I'm not gay is because I thought about sucking a dick. <laughs> that's the only way you can be sure, right? Like, I really like setting up the joke that way because it kind of gives me an opportunity to judge how homophobic you all are. <laughs> you guys are cool for the most part. You, you say that shit to a bunch of drunk bikers at four in the afternoon in Rock Springs, Wyoming, you get some mixed reactions. <laughs> Just a lot of this, like, mm. Nah. Nah, right? Mm, not me, no. Mm. Not me, man. Mm. I don't even know what gay people do, I just know I don't like them. It's like they're afraid of their own brains. It's a thing that exists. This is, this, is what they're, this is what they do, you know? It's like a thing that exists in the world. And you don't have to dwell on it, sir. You don't have to dwell on it. All I'm saying is like, I guarantee every straight guy in this audience has had that moment where you're like, uh, nope, not for me. And then you move on. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's usually like, it's, it's innocent, you know? It's just like, I don't know, maybe you're a little kid. You're growing up in the world, you know? You're like, you see, you start to pay attention, you hear this one word over and over and over again. So you ask your parents, like, uh, Mom, Dad, what does gay mean? What does it mean to be gay? Like, why does everybody keep calling me gay? <laughs> <laughs> and they sit you down, they're like, uh, oh, honey, uh, that, that's when a man loves another man, or a woman loves another woman. And you're like, oh, cool. Like, like I mean, I'm only five, but like, that, that makes sense, you know? It's not that hard of a concept. Like, I love my best friend Jeff. He lives next door. He has Super Nintendo. I must be gay, right? <laughs> like, I love that dude. <laughs> then you get a little older. You get you you know you realize what that love actually looks like, and you're like, oh, yeah, I don't like Super Nintendo that much. <laughs> I don't think I want to be gay anymore. How am I going to tell Jeff? <laughs> right? I don't know. <laughs> you just move on. It's like, I don't know. You, sometimes you got to check in with yourself every now and then, right? <laughs> it's like, it happens. You keep an open mind. Like, maybe, um, maybe you're at home. You're Googling something, you know? Like, uh, crock pot recipes for one because you're a loser like me and you don't have people to share food with. But you accidentally type in cockpot and a bunch of pictures fly up that you weren't necessarily expecting. And you're like, oh yeah, that's what they're up to. Uh, nope, still not for me. <laughs> Just 
move on. It's not that big a deal, guys. I don't know. I thought about it a lot when I was writing this bit. And I think if it really came down to it, like, I, like, like I think I could do like, like a hand job. You know? Like, it, like if that's all it was, like it wouldn't be a big deal, you know? It's like, it's like a handshake, basically, you know? Just like... Especially, like... I don't know if that's, I mean, I'd like to try to mic it to see if you can hear it. I don't know. It's just, can you hear it? <laughs> no, it would it'd be like a, like a handshake. Like, like if it was, I think I could do it. If it was somebody I really respected, you know, like, <laughs> like Mr. Rogers, he's just like, man, just do it. And I'm like, yes, sir, Mr. Rogers, sir, I'd follow you to the ends of the earth, man. <laughs> And check it out, I know Mr. Rogers is dead. <laughs> but not in here. Not in my imagination. And seriously guys, if, if you're unwilling to give Mr. Rogers even a reluctant hand job in your own imagination, <laughs> then you missed the entire point of that show and I don't want to be your Facebook friend anymore. <laughs> So anyways, I think like if it, if it really came down to it, it's like, it, like if that's all it was, like it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but like that's not all there is to it, you know, there's a, how do I say, there's, there's, there's an end point or a goal that I don't think I'd be motivated to reach, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I think like I'd, I'd start to get bored, which would, would probably turn to anger and I'd just be like, come on Rogers, you piece of shit. <laughs> We're gonna do this, let's do it, man. Let's just get it over with. And then it happens and I just gotta figure out what to do with this dick snot all over my hand, just like. And it's about that time when some dumbass is like, what are you thinking about? I'm like, fucking nothing, man. <laughs> nothing, I was just staring at that wall. Nothing going on in here. All right, guys. Hey, I'm Casey Hunt. Thanks for listening. Casey Hunt, everybody. I'm not going to lie. I felt a little weird about shaking your hand just then. <laughs> uh... I was a huge fan of Mr. Rogers, so that was, that got real for me. All right. All right.